What up guys? So uh, today it's kind of a little rainy, sprinkly springtime day out here and I got the day off. We're going to do some ribs in this thing, show you that it actually works. Stick around. All right, I got three nice racks of spare ribs here. Just salt and pepper on them and I pulled the membrane off. So the fire's out there, fire's out there burning. Uh, we'll let the thing heat up, come to temperature and throw them things on. All right, well, I got the fire going a little bit ago. It's one full charcoal chimney starter of regular old charcoal. And then I put two uh, hickory logs on there. You see here, it's it's definitely way too hot. So I closed down, at least I closed the door, and then uh, closed down this baffle a little bit. See, it's definitely burning real nice in there. So, let that kind of burn down a little bit. Now, I still got the uh, baffles closed. Smokes a little bit on the gray side. But uh, I think it's going to be good to good to throw them on and then open up a little bit let the kind of temperature rise slowly and so here we go got them on there uh, one thing after I've been using this, you know, when I made it, I just had all this stuff pretty much. So that's kind of what dictated the size. But in hindsight, I should have made it to where you could fit a rack of ribs going this way. Because three is about all I can fit on here because I got to stagger them. But after they cook down, they actually do fit this way. So, whatever. Let that kind of warm up. Yeah. And uh, now we wait. All right, so just about two hours in, I'm going to open it up, take a look, and uh, spray a little apple cider vinegar water mixture on them. And See what they look like and maybe kind of shuffle them around a little bit from one side to the other kind of help keep them uh, going even so let's take a look yeah, they look all right So that one's uh, all the way in the back. Definitely needs a little bit more smoke on it. So we'll move it over here and I think that should fix everything. I'll probably need a little bit more water in that and then uh, close it, let it go for another hour and wrap them up with foil. So that's three hours in. Uh, about to pull them off, foil them up here. Put them on for another two hours.
All right, it's been uh, another two hours with the foil. About to take them off, leave them, uh, unwrap a little bit of sauce on them. I kind of picked them up a little bit. I can tell that they're super tender right now just by the way that they kind of bend when I pick them up. So I threw a little bit more wood and some charcoal on the fire, kind of build it back up. And then I'll let it kind of die down. And then that'll probably be it as far as the fire goes, like as far as adding more stuff on there. Cause they're, at this point they're cooked. We're just gonna sauce them up and kind of let them you know, do their thing. And then I'll take them off, let them rest, slice into them. Picked up some of this shit, never tried it before. Just what they had at Costco, it was new. So, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah. I think we got them. Take a picture for the gram. I think they're good. All right, now let those rest up, cut into them. All right, so these been resting about 15 minutes. Nice and tender on top. I'm gonna take a little slice out of both sides. Oh yeah, it's a pretty tender looking juicy rib. Well, there you have it. So they're good. And now there's proof that the smoker I made actually works. So you made it this far. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you see something that uh, you recommend I should try, go ahead and leave me a comment and uh, thumbs up are always appreciated. So thanks for watching.